In this project, we will first see how to build a breadboard gamepad circuit and how you can communicate the circuit as a gamepad with an Android device, TV box, and computer. Next, you'll see what you can do by assembling a printed circuit board with a bat-themed design and using both a Bluetooth gamepad and other communication options. On the circuit side, I prefer the low-cost ESP32 development board, which offers wireless communication options such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and ESP Now. Besides ESP32, a joystick module, button, resistor, and some wires are required for the gamepad circuit. Now let's move on to building the circuit. You can find the schematic for the circuit connections in the video descriptions. After building the circuit, let's set up the ESP32 to use it with the Arduino ID. First, enter the shared link for ESP, then search and install the ESP32 board. Restart the Arduino ID and open the shared gamepad source code. The source code includes a popular library called BLE Gamepad. If you go to the GitHub page of the library, you can find detailed explanations and examples. Go to Add Library Search for the BLE Gamepad library and install it. This library also needs the library named NIMBLE. If the libraries are installed, let's take a closer look at the source code now. The shared gamepad source code contains a total of 13 buttons. The buttons define the key functions of a standard gamepad. Also, the source code offers three gamepad modes. This description block contains the key names of the mods as well as the button numbers for the different gamepad mods. Each key name has a corresponding pin number. The array buttons pins represents the physical button pins used on the development board. The constant number buttons specifies the number of buttons and contains the value of the pin each button is connected to. The Android Gamepad Buttons Array contains an ordered list of buttons used in Android mode. A number is assigned to each button. The PS Gamepad Buttons Array contains the list of buttons used in PlayStation mode. The PC Gamepad Buttons Array contains the list of buttons used in computer mode. The Gamepad Mode variable contains the current mode. By default, Android mode is assigned, but this value can be changed later in the code. Let's update the source code according to the components found in the breadboard circuit. There are four buttons and a joystick module in the circuit. I will prefer the Android gamepad mode to test the circuit. Define the pins of the components on the circuit, which the key function on the gamepad should call, and update the pin numbers. Then upload the source code. I will use the Android app called Gamepad Tester to view and test the button and joystick functions. Install the app, then turn on the Bluetooth connection and connect to the ESP32. After that, open the app, go to Android Gamepad Tester, and complete the test of the components on the circuit. Then, let's make a real test of the circuit through a game. I install the car racing app, and now it's time to test the circuit. I have a bat-themed printed circuit board that I designed earlier, and I will test it as a gamepad. Printed circuit boards are used to design more durable and stable electronic circuits for long-term use. I prefer PCB Way for printed circuit board service. You can easily upload the design file and place an order quickly. Your order will be delivered in a few days, depending on your location. Just like the breadboard circuit, easy to assemble solderable components were preferred. You can find the list of required components in the descriptions. Mount the required components on the PCD and solder them in place with the soldering iron and solder wire. The design includes four buttons and two joysticks, as well as one button connected to each joystick. Therefore, 
I will customize the source code for a total of six buttons and two joysticks. The circuit includes a female header for the voltage regulator. If you want to power the circuit with an external power source and the power voltage is higher than the ESP's operating range of 6 to 12 volts, you should use a regulator. You can power the circuit from the USB input of the ESP32 without using the regulator. You can also power it through an external supply in the 6 to 12 volts power range using a jumper. I plug the ESP board into the circuit, then test the buttons and joysticks via the GamePad Tester app. Next, I open the car racing game for control testing. The circuit works well. If you ask what else I can do with this controller, here are a few sample projects. You can use this PCB in your projects with many wireless communication options. You can find the links in the video descriptions for all the details. Thanks for watching.